Hi, welcome to Riverbit Support Channel. I'm Hao Sun. I'm going to discuss how we can uh, quickly uh, configure SAML 2.0 authentication in Zero Central App Response AR11. First of all, let's have a look on uh, overview of what is being supported. So the SAML 2.0 SSO support is uh, being supported from AR version 11.4. Dot zero onwards, which allow user to centrally uh, uh, log in using the same SSO credential, and then they will be automatically log in if there is another session uh, is being open. And just bear in mind that uh, the same will just work for the web UI only, and it's not supported on the CLI, Steel Script, or Packet Analyzer Plus, which is uh, integrated to uh, AppResponse eleven dot four. Just uh, have an overview on the SAML uh, uh, login flow. So we can see that uh, we will get the what do you call it, the SAML uh, metadata uh, from the identity provider. Okay, so which will contains all those uh, informations on the credentials for the user or the SSO uh, which they uh, they keep on that particular authentication. Okay, and then AR eleven. Over here is a security a service provider, okay, which uh, when users trying to log in using the web browsers, okay, they were trying to uh, hit to the uh, AR11 and AR11 as a service provider redirect the SSO kind of uh, URL with the same request to the identity provider and the identity provider, the IDP, provide the same response and then after that uh, they were trying to authenticate and redirect to the entry's uh, URL. So that is the uh, flow for the login on using SAML uh, 2.0. So before we start configuring this particular uh, SAML 2.0 remote authentication, just make sure that uh, maybe in the AR11, we have our rules uh, being uh, defined appropriately so that uh, the users can map to the uh, whichever groups or the rules groups uh, accordingly once uh, the SAML uh, is enabled. And the second thing is actually the full qualified domain name, FQDN. Uh, AR11 will try to look up its own FQDN as part of the SSO. So uh, the SAML may fail in this case if the reverse DNS lookup okay, cannot uh, reverse to its own IP address. So just, uh, just make sure that the FQDN and also the NS lookup uh, is working properly uh, for that particular AR11. So for more information, you can always uh, uh, refer to the help. And also, before uh, just bear in mind, if just is a misconfigure, the web UI will be inaccessible. And in order to uh, revert that, okay, so normally we'll go to the CLI session via SSH or serial. Uh, which require a local account or maybe a radius or tickets account if that is configured and then you can uh, just uh, enable configure terminal and then just type no simul enable then that will actually uh, disable the simul and then revert it to the local or the radius or tickets kind of uh, login uh, lock in to uh, AR 11.4 ensure that uh, the version is 11.4.0 onwards and then to configure that, uh, we'll go to administration menu and then go to remote authentication. And you can see that that is uh, currently will bring you to uh, maybe what is the current one, local authentication. And here is the way uh, we can see that all those uh, rules are being uh, listed over here. Okay, so you can ensure that uh, the rules is being defined under the uh, administration's rules and permission if necessary you can add it uh, appropriately for the group and then what kind of uh, what kind of uh, privilege they have and so on okay so let's go back to the remote authentication and then if you have uh, previously radius and tickets you may have a look at that and then today we are going to uh, go to the SAML 2.0 configuration so you can see that uh, first is actually to enable it so before you check this make sure that all the fields are correct so the uh, very critical one is actually the name ID. If that is uh, using different than the name ID attribute from your uh, identity provider, 
IDP, then make sure that you put in this particular option of you. Else, uh, if that is uh, the default name ID, then you can just leave it. And this is the, what you call it, the uh, IDP metadata uh, from your uh, identity provider. So it's kind of a SAML, SML file you can get from your uh, provider. For this example, we are using the SSO.realbit and then you just get that particular metadata, copy and paste it over here. Okay, copy and paste it over. And <clears throat> the third one uh, is the rules attribute if that is a using member of by default. And also you can uh, actually uh, download uh, this particular service provider, which is the AR11 metadata if you need to. It's option whether to sign the authentication request or require the sign a session if that is necessary in your environment. And for the FQDN view, as we mentioned that uh, the NS lookup and the FQDN is very important for, uh, for the SAML to work. And then uh, for this one is actually, if you need to override to manually enter another uh, FQDN, you can enter it and then ensure that uh, the NS lookup, the reverse lookup will returns to the AR11 IP address. Okay, so here is if you need to deal with the uh, generate or import the certificate. And after you configuring this, basically is that copy this uh, IDP metadata, just uh, and then ensure that FQDN is okay. And then the name ID, the rule attributes, if that is default is uh, meeting that uh, requirements, then you can just uh, test it first, click to the test. And then maybe you just uh, Login with that and then ensure that uh, that returns accordingly. Okay, and then uh, if uh, everything is okay, it's logged in correctly, then you can start enable the FQDN and then you try to apply. It. Okay, and uh, as we mentioned just now, uh, let's see, uh, we can go to here and then after that, after apply, then you can see that. Uh, can try to sign up and then try to log in, in using the new uh, Samuel. Okay, so I have a previous uh, login session and then they automatically log in me as uh, this particular SSO credential. And if necessary, if you need to disable it, then you can just uh, just go to the COI. Okay, just check that uh, enable and then configure terminal. And then you can just uh, use a show SAML to check whether it's enabled. So if you don't want the SAML, then just hit uh, no SAML enable, and then show the SAML again, and then that it was uh, it's going to disable the SAML. Okay, and then if that is disabled, then you can just uh, set out the current session, and then that will bring you back to the uh, local authentication as previously configured or the default uh, configuration earlier. Okay, hope you enjoy this particular session and then uh, we'll see you in the next uh, channels or next session. Thank you.